Well, I mean, it wasn't bad. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and happy 2024. It's already here. Well, this video is something that was requested by a lot of you. So thank, thank you so much for all of the ideas of things that you would like to see me unbox and try on. And like many of us, how we will ring in or how we are going to ring in the new year is going to be in our pajamas. So I got a pajama haul for you. Yay, I also have to do a couple more hauls. I probably should have done this pajama haul at the very end of my filming schedule today because I'm probably going to want to, you know, stay in them. We'll see, but I have a stack of them. I also have a couple blankets and I will get to all of these things here in a minute. And at the end of the video, we will go over to the mirror and we will try them on and I will give you an honest opinion. I purchased all of these with my own money. This is not a sponsored video. So I will, I mean, I, even if it was a sponsored video, I would still be open and honest with you and let you know what I think about the material, the size, the quality, X, Y, and Z. I do have some stickers. So you sticker haters, just hold your horses. So there's not very many of them, but I do have some. I am a vintage reseller. So I have live sales over on my main channel, Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter. Go subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And if you'd like vintage and antiques, then I welcome you to come to my sales every Tuesday, 1 p.m. Eastern over on Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter. I take a lot of pride in the way that I package the items that I send out to my customers. And I like to send stickers. I like to put stickers on the boxes. I like to put stickers in the packages. These stickers say, fragile things inside, please handle with care. And I know a lot of you are probably like, well, they, people, the, the, the mail carriers will just throw them around if that's not on it. That ain't true. The mail, mail carriers will toss things around if they're just having a bad day. Doesn't matter if there's a sticker on it or not. Anyway, so I got those to stick on the outside of my packages. Also on the outside of my packages, what I like to put by the label is Happy Mail has arrived. I know that my, it might be, seem trivial to a lot of you, but I think you can get, I got this for under $8 and that will last me probably two years. So it isn't gonna break the bank. And you know, it makes me, it makes shipping bearable for me. All right, I also got, these are like a combination, these are for package toppers of Valentine's Day and Easter and apparently baby shower. They're just supposed to be like little vintage looking cards. So we've got Valentine's Day, baby, uh, Easter. Oh, look at the bingo cards. <laughs> So those are cute to put in, tuck in the packages. And then the last set of stickers that I got are really cute, very kitschy, very fun. Look at this one on top. I probably am going to keep for myself. It's Miss Pris. <gasps> meow, meow. But there are like cute little kitschy lambs and little bears and deer. Oh my goodness, look at this one. How adorable. So sweet little springtime um, stickers to add as package toppers. I like them, but I probably will keep Miss Pris for myself because I like stickers. Oh, one other thing that I did get for my reselling business are these thank you cards. They're like little business cards and they just say thank you on one side. And on the other side, it says, also says thank you. And it says, when you support a small business, you're supporting a dream. Your purchase made my day. I hope this package brightens yours. I really appreciate your support. So again, a little package topper. And then maybe that person can give it to somebody else and give it to somebody else. And we can keep that train a rolling. All right. Now I got some accessories. Well, one other thing that I got that I'm probably going to do as a giveaway is this cute little crocheted Siamese cat. Look, it's got a little tail like my cat, Mr. Flufferpants. It's a little cat and it's he's holding a little sign and he says, hug the cat. 
No, I know you need a hug right now, and I'll do it. That's really cute. That's really cute. It could be a little ornament, because it's got like a little hook on his head. But I'll do that as a giveaway. Now we're going to start in with the accessories. I got headbands. I'm telling you what, Timu is a great place to get stickers, to get hair accessories, earrings, jewelry. It's great. Things for your small business. It's wonderful. I love the headbands. I got I got bl a black one and a red one already in this one at home. These do not have wired bows. Um, and these are great because they're nice and wide and they don't hurt my head. It looks a little silly, silly with the space buns in. But they don't hurt my head. So that's that's good. So there's the pink one and the green one so they're not real tight which i like now this black one now i got two one of them is just like those other two i should have showed you that it's just a black and white polka dotted one this last one i also already have a couple different colors in and this one's nice because the bow is wired so you can turn it a little bit how that how you want it now these are a little bit tighter than these I really, really like these because they don't give me a headache. This one's a little bit tighter, uh, but I do like that it has that wired bow that you can manipulate a little bit to make it face the way that you want to. I got a, a ring. Now, I wear a size 6 ring. This one's too small. You can see it is a stacked ring with the Roman numerals on there. But I wear a size 6, and I can't get that any. So that's going to have to be returned because it is very small. So if you're ordering rings, I would suggest you can even buy them on Timu's. Get a ring sizer. I'm always a straight size 6, and I only wear rings on my ring fingers. So I, I usually don't have any problem. But I would maybe get a ring sizer because that is that is very small. I also got the matching earrings that goes with the rings. They're very, very cute. They're stainless steel here. Let's try one on. Yeah, those are really cute. They are a little noisy. They're a little, they're a little noisy. So I don't, I don't know about that. I mean, I'm going to keep them, but it's not, it's not a deal breaker if they're a little noisy. I've had noisier earrings. I've worn earrings with bells in them. So I've had noisier ones. And then I also got the matching bracelet. Oops. That has that kind of a cuffed look with the Roman numerals around and the little uh, rhinestones. I don't know why I didn't get a necklace. Now the bracelet is a little big. I don't, well, okay, it does have a, it has where you can adjust the size, which I don't know that I like that, because then you're going to have something hanging down, so I may return, I may return that little bracelet there. I did get another bracelet that I've worn all day, and I love, it's got the little clover design on it, with the rhinestones in a gold tone. I've worn it all day and I love it. I'm starting to get into more golds than silvers. I also got this one and I love this one. You can see it's got hearts and rhinestones, but it has a magnetic clasp that seems to be pretty strong. So it's very easy to get on and off. That silver one that I just showed you has like the lobster claw, so you really kind of need someone to help you get it on. But I like I like it with this other one as well. So I think those are really pretty. I also got this one. I just thought it was colorful. It just caught my eye. It also has a little bit of some gold in it. But we got a little M and star and heart. And it ties at the wrist, sort of like a Perveda bracelet. So you just, I just hold it in my wrist and then tighten it like that. So I like the three of those together. You do have a little long of a string that hangs down though, a little bit. So you do have a little bit of a dingle dangle. All right, and then I also got some earrings. I got, these are really, really fun. I'm gonna put them in. Domo got. To Mr. Roboto. They're just little acrylic. Oops. Let me show it to you the right way. Robots. I love the color. 
I think that they'd be cute for Valentine's Day. I don't know why. I just immediately go to Valentine's Day. But that's the next holiday, and I love all holidays. So those are really cute and fun. And then I also got these little uh, cut wooden hearts. Now, these are a little big. It, it tends to... I have, I have noticed that the wooden ones tend to be pretty big. Those are... I mean, they're kind of cute, I guess. But they're a little big. But they're good for Valentine's Day. I do have another video that I'm going to be filming, Sue, that's all Valentine's Day related items from Timu. So those are cute. I'm going to keep them. They're a little big. But then I also got a dupe of Dior. So you can see this, and there are two different earrings. That one has the big D and a rhinestone. I will say that all of my items came in a bag and not a box. And so the posts of the earrings got a little bent. That's a little annoying. So this one's just a D for Dior. I wonder if I should put these the other way. Because it's like the D, if I put it in that way, then the D will be facing the wrong way. I don't know if it's still upside down or not, but cute. And I like that they're like asymmetrical, that they're not the same. I wore earrings that were like that yesterday that I got from Timu, and I had several people tell me that they liked my earrings. Although I wonder if, they're, if they really wanted to tell me, your earrings don't match. And I was going to say, I know I meant to do it that way. All right, before we get to the blankets and the clothes, I did get... I need, I have needed a new calculator for the longest time. Now, they did not come with batteries. This one takes a triple A, so I can't test it to see if it works, but it's a clicky. It's a clicky keyboard calculator. I like to use a calculator and not the calculator that's on my phone. I'm old school that way. Then it came in this box. Runzion. We, want, we don't need, well, maybe we'll keep this box out. We'll test it with some batteries just to make sure. And then I got a little, um, actually, I might, I might take strawberry shortcake down. We need to fluff it up a little bit. I thought maybe I would hang this on my door at my house, but I already have a winter wreath, but I couldn't resist this because these sentiments are something that I fully am in alignment with. Winter is stupid and it needs to go away. Although we really haven't had much of a winter, at least in Indiana, it's been a very mild winter, but I don't like winter. I think it's stupid, but I like it. And so this, oh, it doesn't not have a, a hanger. Oh, it's right here. I was like, does it not have a hanger? It does. So maybe we'll, uh, we'll take strawberry shortcake down and we'll hang that there. It's kind of blurry. You can't even see it, but winter is stupid. I know some people like winter, but I am not one of them. All right, blankets. Before we get to the, well, I'll show you the, no, we're going to do this this way. I'm going to show you the blankets first. This one intrigued me. Now, do I need a, another throw blanket? Do we really, do we need any more throw blankets, friends? No, we don't. Do we keep buying them? Yes. Why? Because we like to snuggle up with them at night. And I like to, ch I'm a seasonal girl. I like to change out my blankets for the season. This one seems, the, the colors in this one are a little fall for me. So I probably will put this away until the fall. But it looks like a granny square afghan. And it's so soft. Look at that. It is a fleece. So the back side is just white. This is a good size blanket. This is a nice size. Two people could cuddle up underneath this blanket. I'm just saying. Or you and your dog or you and your cat. I love it. But like I said, it is a little bit more, the colorway is reads a little bit more autumn. Probably because of those oranges. But I'm going to be putting that away. Oh. I'll be putting that one away for the autumn time. This one 
is also a little polar fleece, soft and cozy, but I, it has a Valentine's Day and a little bit of spooky time, which I'm all about, but it's so cute. Look it. Now, before I show it to you, let me just say, the one that I just showed you, plush, thick. This one, pretty thin, but it's really, really cute. It's pink, and look, it's got ghosts and hearts. Look at how cute. I kind of thought that they were seals at first, but they're ghosts. And they love, they love ghosts. Oh, it's so cute. So this one I'll be taking home and putting on my couch for, I said Halloween, Valentine's Day. I love that one. All right, I'm gonna show you the pajamas. I got one, I have some more pajamas coming, um, but this is the first round of pajamas. So one, two, three, Four. So just four pairs of pajamas that we're going to try on for you today. A little bit shorter of a video, but that's okay. I do have a quite a large Timu uh, haul that I'm going to be filming within the next couple days. But this one, we wanted to try the pajamas. Oh, you know what? Hang on just one second. Okay, I'm back. I stopped it because I also got some socks. And they were in my, uh, that I was going to do with my Valentine's haul. But I think I'm going to go ahead and include them. I'm just opening them for the first time. So, okay. They're like a crew, like a mid crew. Are those supposed to be ice cream cones? Like strawberry ice cream? I don't know. So you get one. Two. Oh, they're Kirby. Kirby. Two. Oh, cute three. I like, this is the kind of sock that I like to wear. Four. So you get five pairs. And honestly, they look really, really nice. I mean, no different than, you know, any other kind of novelty sock you'd get from like Walmart or Target. So those are cute. So we'll, we will uh, give these a, ta uh, a taste test, a road test. And I'll put in the, uh, in post, how they did. All right, let me show you the pajamas. I will say that if you like that kind of polyester material, you won't like these pajamas. I've gotten some that look like a men's pajama before and I wear them all the time. Um, these are, I don't know, we're, we're gonna see. They're, they're all a 2XL, 97% polyester, 3% elastane. So the first one I got is a long sleeve. It's pink with teddy bears and teddy bear paws on them. Size 2X is what I got. And when I get to the mirror to try them on, we'll talk a little bit more about sizing. All right, also in that same material, I got rainbows. It's like the exact same pajamas. I was trying to do some different versions but it, it appears that I got the same kind of style only in a rainbow, also 2X. But hang on, because there's a third one. Again, I thought that I was getting different styles, but I wasn't. Oh, this one's short sleeve. And it's pink with pink hearts with pants. So those are all very similar, but we'll still try them on. And then I got silkies, which I don't really like. I, I like... I don't like silk. They're not warm. I like warm. So we'll try these on. They've got butterflies, but I just wanted to try them on to see the quality. It does have this nice seam at the leg. Here is the top. I guess that would be more of a moth than a butterfly, but sometimes people will wear, and I have seen people will wear these pajama shirt tops as shirts, with like a little cami underneath it. I like that look. So maybe if anything, I don't know. It, it seems pretty big. This is a size 2XL. They're all size 2XL. So let's go over to the mirror and let's get them all tried on. I promise you I was trying to get different styles. I think the other ones that I ordered that will be coming in soon are a little bit different. But we're going to give these a go first. All right, this first pair is the teddy bears. That's just the pink 
with the teddy bears. I honestly, now it doesn't have pockets. I Listen, I, I even like pockets in pajamas because you can stick things in there if you're going from room to room. The remote, snacks, your water bottle, your phone. But I do, I like... It, they're, they're, they're a little big, so they do run a little bit big. This is a 2X. I am 5'3". I am a 1X, 2X, 14, 16. So I would, I would say that they are, you might want to size down a little bit. Or if you're like me, you just like them big. I honestly just like this, the, the size that it is. It, it is a little bit big in the pants. Oh, I have on the socks too. You can't see, but I'll show you um, in the uh, the long frame. Um, I have on the socks too. The socks are very, very comfortable, so I recommend those. And yeah, nice and cozy. All right, the next one is just like the other one, only it is rainbows and clouds. Very soft again. What did I say? It was not 98%. No, 97%. Polyester 3% elastane. This one also is a 2X. It's it fits nice and big. I think that it's cute. It's it's they're thin. It's like a t-shirt material. So if you get hot, um, you still have the long sleeves, but it's still thin enough. The material does actually feel nice. It really, really does. So I'm I'm really kind of impressed with these. When I first took them out of the package, I thought, I I don't know. But having them on. They feel really good. All right, I'm gonna try on the next one, which is the Valentine one, and it has short sleeves though, which I am not a fan of, but we're gonna try it on. Well, it's pretty cute. And it's nice and oversized. I was worried that the shirt, since it was short sleeve, it was gonna like fit me really snug, but it's really cute. Honestly, you could probably wear this t-shirt underneath a cardigan or a flannel on Valentine's Day and it would be just fine because it's like a t-shirt. Um, it is kind of big. I do, this is a 2X, but honestly, again, I like them to run big anyway, but so cute. But you know, it's, February is still very cold in Indiana. So um, I don't know, but you don't have to wear it just on Valentine's Day. You could wear this whenever. It's a love pajamas, but they're really, really soft. All right, I really like these. Well, you wouldn't want to wear these in a, in a bed with silk sheets. You just go sliding on in, you go sliding right off. These are a little staticky. Um, they're not as big, so these are very much a true to size pajama, these silky ones with the moth. Um, I don't, I mean, Honestly, I would like the shirt to wear it as a shirt more than wearing these as pajamas. They're very, very staticky. So I feel like they're sticking to me, which I don't like. But I kind of like this shirt. You can unbutton it and wear a little cami underneath it. I kind of am liking that look, but I don't know about these as pajamas. I mean, I don't, they just... They're sticking to my body and I don't like it. I kind of thought those other ones would stick to me more. But these are really kind of just clinging, clinging to my skin. I don't know if I like that. But I do like the print. And I like the little accents of gold. So that's a really nice touch. They're very, very pretty and they feel really good. They're just sticking to me and I don't like that. All right, let's go over to the table and we'll discuss our closing comments commentary closing commentary well i mean it wasn't bad uh, these are the ones i don't like and just because i again i just feel like they're clinging to me so i kind of would like to wear this just as a shirt by itself but i'm probably going to return them just because i just don't think that i i will wear them and I might as well not keep them if I'm not going to wear them. But I love the other ones. I'm definitely going to keep those. I really can see myself wearing those. I love pajamas. I love pajamas. There's just something so cozy and comforting about a pair of pajamas. I don't know what that is, but but I'm feeling it. Uh, but anyway, I, I like the socks are really, really good. The hair bows, you can't go wrong with. The stickers are always amazing. The blankets, honestly, really, they do wash up nice. This one's just a little bit thin, but that other one is plush. 
So I'm very, very happy with everything that I got. Just a couple things that I'm going to return. The ring doesn't fit and the one of the bracelets, I'm not quite sure because it's a little big. And then these, I'm going to return these. And that's it. Everything else was a winner. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If there is something that you want a link for, let me know in the comments. I am behind. I need to go through and, and look at those comments and send you a link. But check the comments back. Um, or if there is something that you're wanting a link to, you can just send me an email. Thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. Send me an email and let me know that you want a link, but let me be descriptive of what it is that you're wanting a link to, and I will do my best to get you your link. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you all have a wonderful New Year's and enjoy yourself. Be safe, and I will see you in 2024. Bye guys.